guys want a shot at winning a copy of Call of Duty World War II for the console of your choice for absolutely free, a couple of my friends and I are doing a little giveaway. Link is down there in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. As per videos as usual, I feel like I just need to mention, we're so close to Call of Duty World War II, and I'm getting so hyped, hopefully you guys are as well too. And that said, while we are so close to the launch of Call of Duty World War II, it's almost weird at this point that we haven't seen too many leaks. Because, well, as we mentioned yesterday in yesterday's video, there was for the first time in Call of Duty's history, something that did not allow players with early copies to access the game itself. It's something that will either need a day one update or a playlist update, either a little bit closer to the launch of the game, so in a couple of days time, or at the full launch, as soon as it's technically live for everybody at midnight on whatever time zone you're playing it. So that said, it's still kind of weird that we haven't seen much in the terms of leaks. What we do have access to is still stuff from the beta code that was data mined from the PC beta, but other than that, we really haven't seen all that much, because, well, of course, not everybody can access it. Though I've heard about some bypasses and everything like that, we're still missing out on information coming out about zombies, multiplayer campaign and personally I'm on the fence for this I like being able to go in completely blind and experiencing it all for the first time but that's something that definitely hypes some people up is these leaks that happened earlier so with the lack thereof of them hopefully you guys are still as hyped and ready to jump into it for yourself coming in this next week but there is one thing that I want to talk about here today in this one that doesn't necessarily come out of a leak per se but it's something that has been revealed through the strategy guide within Call of Duty so some people might not even realize that they still make those, but nonetheless, the Call of Duty World War II strategy guide gave us a little bit of some information on some stuff that has changed for, I believe, the first time out of Call of Duty's history, something that we've not really seen as a system of change within World War II, which you may enjoy or you may not. So while we're talking change, we've already seen that World War II has looked to change up a lot of what we know about Call of Duty or some of the staple content. Not only have we seen revisions like the division system, the replacement of perks with skill sets and basic trainings, and the removal of health regen and ammo replenishing and campaign and a whole bag of other stuff, all while we've seen the addition of things like headquarters with all sorts of stuff that we detailed yesterday, like the quartermaster, mail station, theater, gunsmith, score streak training, 1v1 pit, boxing, skeet shooting, prestige locations, and a ton more. We've seen all of this stuff to try and shake up what we know of the norms of Call of Duty, but Sledgehammer is actively and consciously trying to change up how we play Call of Duty, and personally, I think that's a good thing. The last attempt that they had to change the game and shift it to something out of being the same old, same old every single year, we got EXO Movement, which we know how that went. So on a more micro level and with more engaging features and everything like that, I think these sort of changes and additions are a worthy attempt to change up the norm of what we know Call of Duty, so it's not just a year-over-year -year thing in the simplest of forms when it comes down to what we can do. But getting back to what this new change that we now know of, once again coming out of the strategy guide, deals with how we unlock weapons, where now divisions will allow you to unlock specific weapons. And previously, all we've ever seen within the unlock system within Call of Duty was you simply rank up your character and everything like that, and say theoretically out of a 1 to 55 rank, you'd end up unlocking those 30-some weapons or so that we have in the game at different points in time, in which you'd reach, say, level 20, and you'd unlock an SMG. Level 23, maybe an assault rifle. Stuff like that, in which it was very straightforward, very linear, and very easy to follow. However, Sledgehammer Games, amongst all these other changes, revisions, and complete shakedowns of what we know within Call of Duty World War II, they added something else here on top of that. Because we've mentioned the division system, but divisions actually now will give us weapon unlocks themselves. So how this is going to work is that in the beta, we got a nice little look at the division system. Previously, earlier than that, all we saw was gameplay at E3, which really didn't give us much of a division system and ranking system there within. We only got to see that out of a few games that people were able to play, there were different skill sets allocated with different divisions and different basic training. So it was more so just an overall broad generalization of the system itself because everything was pre-made, there was no customization, and it was only tailored for a couple of games per player. So E3, we really didn't get too much of a hands-on experience with it, but the beta, we got to see that there was going to be a ranking system for divisions similar to what we had with mission teams within Infinite Warfare, but in a different variation and different style. Though, what we did not see was the classified weapon that was at that rank of rank 5 within each division. So, you could rank everything up, but not get to that highest rank. 
Now, previously, and a little bit of spoilers here with this one, there is a little bit more to that division system. Now, there's not going to be only five levels, there's going to be eight, supposedly. So you'll have extra ones there within, which once again, we detailed yesterday, we're not sure if that's going to allow you to have more skills, therefore encompassing more basic trainings per division. That's something that's still unclear, but nonetheless, eight ranks instead of five. And then there are going to be supposedly four prestiges for each division. And where this comes into play with the weapon unlocks is that once you hit prestige for a division, that classified weapon will be unlocked. And whereas we thought maybe that would be, say, an ornamental variation, something that's cosmetic, something that's going to just look very cool like that, it's actually going to be a weapon itself. It's not going to be a variation or a variance of a weapon, but instead it's going to be a weapon that is reserved outside of the standard linear rank up system of your operator. Whereas, say, once again, you could get to rank 1 to 20 and unlock an SMG or something like that, these weapons are going to be in the overall collection pool. Think maybe classic weapons of Infinite Warfare, but not in their own category as, say, classic weapons were. They'd still be in the SMG, assault rifle, sniper rifle categories and classifications, but they'd be only accessible via Division Prestige. So what we have listed, once again, a little bit of spoilers here for those of you guys that don't necessarily want to hear it right off the bat, and maybe want to go in a little bit fresh here at this one, the ones that were detailed from a Reddit post talking about this were the MP40 being unlocked at Airborne Division Prestige 1, the Car 98K unlocked at Mountain Division Prestige 1, and the MG42 unlocked at Division Prestige 1 for Armored. Now, out of this air quote leak for the strategy guide, we didn't see anything else out of the Expeditionary and the Infantry Division for the Assault Rifles and the Shotguns, so those ones are still up on the table, but being completely up front with you guys and your opinion may completely differ with this, and it's totally cool. I am totally open to whatever you guys have to say here with that and we're all entitled to our own opinions and what we think on this I love this. I think that this is a great way to shake up, once again, some of the norms of what we know within Call of Duty, and there's one big reason why I absolutely love this, and that's simply because the player has options. And what I mean by this is that previously in every other Call of Duty game that we've seen thus far, and of course, there were some weapon rewards given in Advanced Warfare for the higher prestiges in which you got specific weapon variants, but for the sake of how this works itself, it allows players to not conform to the standard rank 5, 7, 13, whatever rank it is that you need to achieve to unlock a specific weapon. You can do this at your own pace. So therefore, where theoretically, as we've mentioned, I have mentioned this many times up on the channel because initially from seeing that there would be something such as a classified weapon, I just had this hunch. So for quite some time, I thought this might be the case. I've mentioned the theory many times. Some people thought it was crazy. Some people thought it was brilliant, but here we are nonetheless with this. But theoretically, instead of saying going to maybe rank 45 to unlock the MP40 for Airborne, we'll use that as our little bit of a basis and example here for this one. Instead of going up to that rank 45, 50, presumably because we did not see it in the beta, a higher ranking weapon, instead of going to that rank, grinding it out, you can theoretically get it by rank 15, 20, 25, and you can do it all at your own pace. Because if you only use the Airborne Division, you're gonna rank up very fast through all that kind of stuff, and then you'll be able to hit that Division Prestige, unlock that MP40, theoretically way faster than you would be able to if it was only available behind ranking unlocks for your player stats. So once again, with this, you can say unlock the MP40 first, you can unlock the MG42 first, you can unlock the Car 98K first, you can unlock Unlock whatever the other two division specific weapons are as well and I think that's awesome because it gives the player the choice on when they can unlock stuff now of course it's not going to be able to pinpoint it down immediately but this is something that I think is a very brilliant way to change up the ranking system and how we unlock weapons now while these are only mentioned for prestige one for each division what other sorts of things we don't know in terms of rewards afterwards because if there's theoretically four different prestiges we don't know what these will be, if anything. Perhaps it's a camo, perhaps it's some sort of customization, some character gear, but right now, these sort of weapons that we're missing kind of fill out the list of weapons that we've had detailed via beta code. So I don't know if we'll necessarily be getting secondary weapons that say you hit Division Prestige 2, you get another weapon like that. I don't think that's going to be the case, but who knows? I also think it's really important to note the fact that the stuff that we talked about a few days ago about pre-ordering and getting the ability to unlock a base weapon at the very launch of the game, 
I'm 99% certain that is not going to apply to these because while they are complete and base weapons, they're not variants or anything like that. They are simply weapons like the MP40, Car 98K, MG42, like weapons you could actually use. They are in a different classification than that of different weapons within the game. The way that I almost think of it is two different bubbles, like the ranking system themselves has the standard unlocks from say rank one to 55, like we know in the ranking system for World War II. And then the second bubble is just the division prestige system and the ranking up there within, in which grants you a very small handful, select few number of weapons that all come together to be part of that playable experience within World War II. So those sorts of promotional material and things like that, I definitely don't think will be affecting it. But once again, until we see the entire outcome of everything, we don't have a definitive answer. But nonetheless, I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up because I think that this is a fantastic way to do the ranking system here with this because once again, you can go at it at your own pace. You don't have to grind out for a specific level. You can do whatever you want and however fast you want. So that said, love to get your thoughts and feedback here on this one. What do you guys think? Do you really enjoy this system? Do you think it's a great way to innovate the ranking and unlocking system within Call of Duty World War II and adding to these certain few changes that don't change the core gameplay, but change how we approach it? Are you guys a fan of that? You hate it? Whatever it may be, let me know down there in the comment section down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're gonna be killing it with the content going into the launch. We are under a week away. So if you guys are hyped and you guys wanna stay up to date with everything we have here regarding tips, news, leaks, any information, all that stuff, we got you covered, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And one final thing is I truly, truly do wanna say thank you guys so much for the continued support as of recently. You guys seem to have been really enjoying the videos and I truly cannot thank you enough for the support. So thank you guys so much for everything. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Hopefully you guys are stoked for the game. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. Take care and peace.